In this video, I'm going to share with you how to get set up with ChatGPT. If you haven't already, you really must. We're going to walk you through step by step the process. Hi there, it's Mark Wickersham here, author of Effective Pricing for Accountants, and I help accounting firms around the world build more successful and profitable, profitable firms. And in this video, we're going to talk about Chat GPT, which you need to be using because, firstly, everybody's talking about it, but for good reason. It's going to save you huge amounts of time when you understand what you can use it for. And we're going to do some other videos where we walk you through different use cases, how to use it, how to get the best out of it. But in this video, we're going to take you through step by step how to do it. And this is going to be, I'm going to introduce you, you, introduce you to my colleague, uh, Emily Cross, who's our head of marketing and uh, AI and chat GPT expert within our business. She's going to walk you through the process. And then I'm going to come back at the end because I have some free resources for you. But first, let's go over to Emily, who will walk you through the process. So in this video, I'm just going to really quickly show you how you can get yourself registered with a ChatGPT account so that you can start using it in your business. So if you just open yourself up a brand new tab and we're going to type in ChatGPT, then the first thing that comes up is going to be this OpenAI website. And this is going to be the one that you want to click on. It's called Introducing ChatGPT here. If we click on that, we can find this page here. And just over on the left here, it says try chat GPT. There's this button here. And if you click that, it's going to open us up a new tab, which is now the chat GPT site. So this is the link that you're going to want to grab. So obviously without this auth and login, but the browser link for when you're using chat GPT is this chat.openai.com. And then it's going to be forward slash chat. So here we've got these two options. If you already have an account, you can log in. And if not, we can click sign up. It's gonna ask you for an email address. So I'm just gonna pop that in. It's then gonna ask me for a password. So I'll pop that in as well. It's now gonna send me an email to my personal account. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the link inside that email. And then I will head back to this page and we should be ready to go. So I've now verified my email address and it's now asking me for just a little bit more information. So it wants my name and my birthday. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that information in. And just so you're aware, uh, the only reason that it's asking for your birthday is to verify your age because this is one of the things that it needs to do to be uh, safe and secure. It's also gonna ask for my phone number. This is also just to double check that you are who you say you are. Um, so I'm gonna put my number in and it's gonna send me a text. Okay, so I'm now signed up and this is the pop-up that first comes up. It just tells you a little bit about the place. It is constantly changing. So when you see this video and then you go and do it yourself, there may be additional things that they have added to here in terms of putting safeguards in place because they are constantly adding new regulations. So if you see something slightly different, then don't worry. It'll just be that they've updated it since recording this video. So if I just click next, I can look at, this is how we are collecting data. So they are telling me a little bit about that. And you might like to also give feedback. So there is an option to opt out of the way that they use your data so that they, you don't give them access to that. But it's a tool and it's learning. So if you can just give it a thumbs up when it gives you a great answer, then it's helpful for the, for the tool to learn and get better. So it's up to you whether you do that. So this is where you will land when you first create your account. In the bottom left corner is this option to upgrade to the plus account if you want to do so. But if not, then this is what it's going to look like for you. It just gives you some examples of the prompts that you might put in. And if you want to start a new chat, you can either type it in here or you can click this new chat button here. Your conversations are going to be saved along the left hand side once you've started writing them as well. If we come down to the bottom here where your email address is and click these icons and you go to the settings tab and we click next to data controls, we click show. If you don't want ChatGPT to use your data to train the, the program, then you can opt out by clicking this button here and that will just mean that it won't save any of your data. It won't use it to train the model. You can opt out of that if you want to. 
Now, if you want to upgrade to the Plus account, then you can come over here to the left where it just says Upgrade to Plus. And it's real simple. You just come here and you click Upgrade Plan. And it's going to take you to this checkout account and you can put in your card information and your billing address and all of those sorts of things. And then just click subscribe and that will just sign you up for the plus account that gives you priority access. So the tool is is quite oversubscribed. There's over 100 million people using it. So sometimes it can run a bit slow on the free account. So one of the great things that it gives you is priority access. You also get access to GPT-4, which is the higher model. It's the latest model that is a little bit better than the GPT-3.5. So it just gives you slightly better prompts. It maybe runs a little bit slower, but the outcome that you get is a lot better. So we do recommend that you subscribe. It's a very low cost compared to what it's going to get you. You know, if you view ChatGPT as another employee that's going to help save you so much time in every month, then $20 a month for that is really, really low, we think. So definitely recommend that you do sign up for the Plus subscription. And that's it. You're ready to go. You can start making your prompts in ChatGPT and get started on saving loads of time in your business. So there you go. That's how to set it up. It shouldn't take you long to do that. If you've got any questions, comments, put them below. If you've found this valuable, please hit that like button. Uh, please also uh, hit the subscribe button if you want to get notified of more videos as we produce them and hit the bell notification so you get that notification. So I said to you, I have some free resources. So firstly, we have written a ebook, a 32 page guide all about uh, ChatGPT and, uh, and it looks a little bit like this. So go and grab that. We'll put the link below and let us know where to send this to you. It's full of practical tips to get you started. It's aimed at accountants and bookkeepers. So if that's you, you'll see plenty of examples and use cases as well. So grab that. Uh, the other thing that you might want to be aware of as well is we have a Facebook group. It's called AI and ChatGPT for accountants and bookkeepers. Again, we'll put the link below. It's a place where you can interact with other people, share what people are using, ask your questions and so on. And also, if you want to go even deeper uh, and learn more about how to use ChatGPT, and particularly if you are an accountant or a bookkeeper, then we have training for you. It's part of our training academy. So if you want to, if you're interested in learning more, then why not join the uh, Profitable Growth Academy? Again, we'll put the link below and it'll take you to a page that looks like this, where you'll find out all the things that we teach accountants and bookkeepers wanting to build a successful accounting firm. But in addition to everything you'll see on this page, we are also building a training program. There are bonus videos in there on how to get the very best out of chat GPT. Thank you so much for watching this video. And we've got plenty more for you on the YouTube channel here on how to use chat GPT. Okay, so I will see you on one of those. Goodbye for now.